Hopefully from this angle, you can't tell how like destroyed my room is. <laughs> you like my t-shirt? Yeah, love everyone. Anyway. I am back for my adult unboxing for Unplugged. And this one, this guy is very big and I hear something jingling in there and I hope that's not a bad sign. My mailman's a little aggressive, so fingers crossed he didn't do anything um, stupid. Let's crack into this. If for some reason you've missed any of my other unboxings, I am an unplugged rep. I do have a rep code. It is nurse five. You can get 5% off. I buy the YA box myself, which you can see I already unboxed that. I'll put a link somewhere, but they do send me the adult box for free. And then I unbox it for y'all here. I absolutely love this company. They do predominantly self-care. Almost everything in here is a usable item that has something to do with self-care. And the things that aren't about self-care self -care are just fun, usable things. And they're a little bit different than what you get in your more traditional uh, book boxes that you see going around Bookstagram, BookTube. I'm assuming also on BookTok, but I'm an old lady. I'm not on BookTok. I just love them. I think they do a great job. The company is great. Uh, I rave about them all the time. Also wanted to say I am in the middle of transforming my book nook into a like a full on like library, not my library of my dreams, but like the best dream I can make for this house. So you may see like, I think I still have some paint under my nails. I found some paint here while I was putting some makeup on for y'all. I got that off though, uh, but I keep finding paint everywhere. I did shower. I didn't clean myself after yesterday's painting extravaganza, but I'm a mess and I don't care because I'm, when we finish this video, I'm literally going to go back and put a second coat of paint on. So just ignore all the paint, but you'll get maybe a sneak preview of the color of the new book nook. Anyway, let's jump into this. I'm very nervous about the tinkling. I really just hope that the tinkling doesn't mean something has gone untoward, but we're gonna find out. So the June, oh wait, it smells good, whatever it is. So the June uh, adult fiction box is Destiny. So here's our little spoiler card. I'm gonna keep this here in case I need it. There is nothing so far, it looks, um, be wrong. Oh, I think I know it was okay. I think I know it was tinkling and I think it's okay. Anyway, so we're gonna start with this little box here. Oh, I love it. Okay, hold on. So this is a glass tumbler with a little silicone straw. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, so you can use the straw. There's a little thingy you can cover up the straw hole with if you're not gonna use it, or you can drink it like like a drink drink up the top, like a drink drink. And it says, I would know him in death and at the end of the world, the Song of Achilles. I did read Song of Achilles and I did like it. I do want to reread it because everybody loves that book. So I just wanna reread it and see if like, maybe I just wasn't paying attention enough to be like in love with the book, but I am in love with this glass here and you can just, it's just like a regular pint glass. So I wonder if I can put this on like other pint glasses that I have and turn them into travel mugs. <gasps> the possibilities are endless. <laughs> I have problems. Anyway, crinkles. Oh, this is what smells. There is a little, I feel like there's been a lot of these fizzies in these recently and we all I've gone over this I do not have a bathtub that I fit in but I am eventually going to try to get myself one of those foot baths foot spas and I've been told that I can use these in here this is Conrad and Alden Odyssey cards road trip slushies bath bomb this is by Sudsy Duck Sobre this is conventionally yours I've never I've never even heard of conventionally yours by Anna Beth Albert, both. Mm, but it smells, sorry, I'm gonna stop sniffing it, but isn't that cute? And it's shaped like a little cloud. It's really pretty. It smells, I don't even know how to describe this. It's just very sweet. It's nice, I like it. I just need to figure out a way to use all these bath bombs that I have in the bath that I don't have. I have Dragon Rider Herbal Facial Steam. Ooh. So this has 
calendula, chamomile, hibiscus, lemon balm, lemon bits, orange bits, and rose. This is Peony Home Co. And it looks like you put this in a little bowl with some boiling water, stick your head over it, and just give yourself a nice little steam. This is from the Priory of the Orange Tree, which I did really like. And I know that it's gotten some criticism from like hardcore fantasy fans about how it's not like that great of a fantasy or it could have been cut down or maybe it should have been in um, more like a series. But I really liked it because I feel like it was one of those books that got me into fantasy. It was like a good fantasy light that made me want to read more fantasy, like taught me that like I would enjoy this genre and then it just sent me down a rabbit hole of fantasy. This is a rabbit hole. Strawberry Lemonade Mix, Wonder Wheel, Coney Island, Strawberry Lemonade Mix. I love the drink mixes. There was an All the Boys I Loved Before lemonade iced tea like on Arnold Palmer kind of mix that came in one of these boxes and I'm mad it wasn't like a sack because I drank it in like three drinks and it was so sinking good. I'm excited to try this one. And this is from One Last Stop, which I have not read yet. I believe it might be a TBR lowdown pick in the future. I'm not sure. If you don't know, I do also run a book club that just, it's all about reading diversely in every way that you can think of reading diversely. And um, um, you can follow us on Instagram. I'm excited to one, read that because I know that it is new and sort of a cult classic and I want to drink this. Almost more important than a cult classic. Um, Casey McQuiston is a popular author. That's what I mean. It's not a cult classic. Um, and I really want to drink this. Probably more than I want to read the book, but that's just because I am dehydrated from yesterday. Also, my brain is a little bit slow. I don't know if you've noticed that yet. I worked two in a row and then painted and did a lot of like labor yesterday. I am, I am tired. I need to stop doing unboxings when I'm like, not right in the head, but I can't not open this. Like I, I, it's been sitting here for a day and a half and it's like, it's time to open this. These are the things I heard tinkling. I think they came out of their little like packages, but thank God these are what I heard tinkling. They are little steel ice and it's gonna be hard for me to show you these one side has like a little ship on them hopefully you can see that there we go that's probably the best way and then this one has a quote on it which again i probably need my readers but it says dreamers are always welcome here whatever their reasons and these are Peter Pan themed and I absolutely love these. These are going to be, this is from Peter Darling. I, I've never read Peter Darling, but they're basically like, it's a Peter Pan retelling, but these can be used. He just has these as granite rocks and he uses them in his whiskey. They're really good for anything you don't want to water down. You basically freeze these, put them in your drink and then use these like ice and they don't water down your things. Or you can just, enjoy playing with them in your hand because you need every form of stress relief that exists in the world. Oh, they're so cute. Editing Alyssa, I just wanted to pop in and say I gave these to Jesus and he absolutely loves them. So excited. We have our bookmark and this is An Unkindness of Ghosts by River Solomon, which I really inspired and I, I really want to read this because I, I read The Deep by River Sw Solomon and I have Sorrowland on audiobook and I, I think we're reading it for TBR Lowdown so I'm holding off on reading it but I really want to read it. Anyway it says poor lonely books lonely pages bound in lonely leather their only company the occasional louse should is for weaklings. It's, it's really really beautifully done and the book cover is stunning and I just, I really want to read it. And again, everything in this box is queer and it makes me happy because it's Pride Month and I'm here for it. Oh, interesting. I just spoiled the book for myself. I do this every video. Every video I spoil the book for myself. This is a Gideon the Ninth 
moisturizing body and hair hair mist wait this moisturizing mist can be used on skin and hair it says whiskey blood orange and musk i'll show it to you and then i'm gonna sniff it i love it what do you mean i can use it on my hair Shake before you spray on skin, rub thoroughly, and allow it to dry. Formulate it to leave a silky smooth feel on skin or hair. Avoid contact with eyes. Okay, I won't, I won't spray into my eyeballs. Oh, this is very like, oh, I think Jesus would really like this. This smells like very manly. I wonder what it smells like on me. Manly, but I like it. Make me manly for my labor I'm going to do later. There is the photo challenge and another advertisement for the sol summer solstice box. I think there were a few last, a few left last time I checked, so uh, I would go get it. I I'm really excited for the summer solstice box, and I think I know what the book is, but I'm not telling you. And this is the art print on the back of the note from the author. We went over this in my YA unboxing. July adult is going to be fearless and young adult is going to be villainous. And sneak peeks is for the young adult is that there's going to be a large lined beach bag and that for adult there's actually going to be two new really what's this? Two new releases in the July box for the adult box, which is cool. We just need to get this open. And I don't have any scissors here, so Bear with me. Okay, so one of my friends got this. I think Illumicrate just did a special version of this book. And I've never heard of it before. So I'm super excited to see it in here. And this is The Jasmine Throne by Tasha Suri. And I'll read you the back here. It says, trapped by her despotic brother within the crumbling walls of an ancient temple, Princess Melanie dreams of vengeance. Forced to disavow her birthright and her power because of her past, maid servant Priya, maid servant Priya dreams of freedom. In a world beset by wild magic and, turbul and turbulent uprising, their destinies will become irrevocably tangled and together they will set an empire ablaze. It's got a bunch of author blurbs on the bl author blurbs on the back, but the first one I just saw is the review from Alexis Harrow, the blurb from Alexis Harrow, and it says an intimate, complex, magical study of empire and the people caught in its bloody teeth. It's about resistance and power, the heroes who must become monsters to survive, and I loved it. I like that. I like that. Makes me feel like this is gonna have that. V.E. Schwab theme that she's always playing with of like morally grayness and what is evil and all of that. So that makes me really excited. The author of uh, Kingdom of Copper writes a fiercely and unapologetic feminist tale of endurance and revolution set against a gorgeous, unique, magical world. I mean, I'm so excited. And she chunky, she chunky book. So this is everything I got in the June Adult Unplugged book box. I am super, super excited for actually everything that's in here. I'm gonna have some lemonade when I, while I'm painting. I get to do a facial steam when we're done and I can just relax. I, this is, I mean, this is flipping gorgeous. Like it's absolutely gorgeous and I do need to read this book. I'm really excited. Thank you so much Unplugged for letting me rep for you guys. I love it. Thank you for sending the box over. Um, if you would like to get your own, the rep code is nurse5. Um, feel free to use the link below to grab yourself a box. Um, there's also a link down there for Kofi, uh, which is just, it's kind of like Patreon, but not exactly like Patreon. And it's just, if you want to help donate, support the channel, do anything like that. Um, I'm trying to save up to get like an actual real camera that is good. You know, if you feel like it, you don't have to. I feel like I'm trying to get, <laughs> I hate asking people for things like this. <laughs> But anyway, if you feel like it, it's much appreciated. Otherwise, just leaving a like, a comment, subscribing, all of that helps the channel out as well. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you've made it this far, leave down below lemonade and I will hop on and say hello. 
Otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video, whatever that may be, because it's my channel and I can do whatever I want. Bye, guys. So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning, building cat mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me, trying to find another way to say this, but.